Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Champions number two. Whoa. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now that there is a little bit of action in here, and I'm going to get to that in a moment, but for the most part, there's no action. And yet I still got this huge cheesy grin on my face. If you don't know anything about any of these characters who are in this comic, reading this comic will tell you pretty much everything that you need to know about these characters. They have a way of introducing themselves in a way that they explain, for the most part, all of their superpowers. And it doesn't sound like an origin story at all. The way that they explain what they want to be with this new version of the champions is fantastic. These are kids, but they're not just people who are drawn as kids, but in reality, they're, yeah, a whole lot more than just kids. No, 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 no. These are actually kids. If I were to find out that the writers took a whole bunch of kids, like Mark Wade just took a bunch of kids, threw them in a room, and have them interact with each other, and all he did was write what they did, I would believe it. I would also be a little worried about the kidnapping charges, but aside from that, I would totally believe that that's what he did, because these actually sound like kids. Every single one of them. Every one of them. And it's fantastic the way that they pull it off. There are commentaries in here about how the girl character always has to be the one who tries to make things serious. Like, you know, all the examples that you could think of. Just think about Harry Potter. Hermione Granger was the one who used to break up the fun to make everybody start acting serious again. And the examples are almost endless. And in here, Miss Marvel, who is the leader of the group, she says, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to be that character, you know, that that woman who breaks up all the fun and things like that. And you're not going to put me in that kind of a position. It was great how they addressed that. That's beautiful. This is the issue where Scott Summers, young Cyclops, gets invited into the group. Although he more or less auditions in a way, but it's it's weird the way he does it. Typical Cyclops mentality. And they do make the comment about how he's a kid who talks like he's 30-something. And yeah, that's who Cyclops is. And there's a great slim moment. If you remember the arguments and conversations between Wolverine and Scott Summers, Wolverine calls everybody Bub, except for Scott Summers. He just calls him Slim. Well, here... The Hulk, Amadeus Cho, calls Scott Summers slim. And really great throwback. So if you paid attention to it, that shows that that's going to be the diaspora between these two people. And I guess Cyclops really needs that character who's just not going to put up with his garbage. And he is Cyclops in this. He acts very brashly and he comes out and he attacks the Hulk. That's the only action that's in here. He attacks the Hulk and... Oh, man, everybody jumps on him real quick, and Nova actually almost knocks Scott completely out. And it's a beautiful thing because, God, I hate the Cyclops character. I hope that I'm going to be able to like him in this comic, but if not, I'm happy just hating him the way that I've always almost hated him uh, throughout his comic book history. But here, there's a really cool moment where Hulk gets in his face and says, you thought I was attacking these people what, just because I'm a big green monster? And what were you going to do? It? You're 100, 105 pounds soaking wet? What were you going to do about it exactly? And Scott blasts him in the face again. Like directly, point blank, in the face with his optic beams. Hulk's mad. Everybody's jumping on Hulk trying to hold him back. Scott's like, uh, I apologized and you got in my face and I don't take well to bullies. Spider-Man, Miles Morales is... One of the people obviously jumping and holding, trying to hold the Hulk back and says, he's, he's got a point, he's got a point. And they're all taking a vote now as to whether or not they're going to take him onto the team or not. And they're doing this vote and everybody's for the most part saying no. But Viv comes up with a great point. She's the Vision's daughter. And she says, you know, he is a really little guy. And yet he courageously came up and tried to save us from what he thought was an assailant putting his self into extreme jeopardy. And that's actually pretty cool. So everybody notices that and recognizes it, and obviously he's going to wind up being on the team now. I'm absolutely loving this comic. I love the, the trust games that they had with each other. I love the interaction they had. They, they really are kids. At one point, they noticed that Viv has Wi-Fi. I said, what's the password? 
and the pastor was something to the effect of uh, even androids can cry. And they right away they're they're typing that in really quick and and they're all sitting down. They're going to start doing the the you know online Facebook or Twitter or whatever to you know connect back because they're all in the woods. And it's yeah, this is what kids would do. <laughs> so this was brilliant. You could read this and any kid, anybody who's you know in their teens or younger could read this comic and immediately attach with if not one person with everyone in this comic. It's really that well written. And the art is fantastic too. I love the art. It's perfect for this comic. It's it's great. It's just, you know, one of those things where the art has to complement the writing. And it does. And the writing is fantastic. So the art follows suit. Guys, I'm giving this comic, oh, this is going to be my first one ever, an A+. Plus because it was really just that good. I love this comic. I can't wait to see more. If they cancel this, I will riot. I will have a one-man riot in the streets and just looking like a total fool. Helicopters taking pictures of me and somebody's going to wind up tasing me. But either way, I will riot because this is a great comic and I'm in love with it. You got to read this comic. You will nothing but enjoy it. Anyways, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, which is free to subscribe to. Class dismissed.